pray for me. <laughs>So today is a very exciting video. I am finally exposing my father to the internet. You guys have met my mother on many occasions. I'll link some videos featuring her down below, but my father has remained a mystery. And that is because he always told me once I reached a million, he would be willing to be in a video. And I think he said that when a million was like so far off in the distance that he never thought it would actually, like, this day would come. And folks, Killer Bee Club, we have made it to a million. Still in disbelief, still in shock. He is too, and he's he's trying to be like, no, I said 10 million. Everybody, I, I said a million on Instagram. He's like, trying to get around it, and I'm like, no minion. You said one million on YouTube. I have so many witnesses. Even my editor, Scott, emailed us when I hit a million and was like, so, minion, gonna be in a video now? He's uh, so thrilled. He's been trying to pretend he's, like, sick past few days he's like no i'm i'm really sick i'm going on a business trip like he's been trying to come up with all these excuses but i'm not letting it go i'm like no my friend you're getting exposed to the internet Are you guys ready i should pre like i should say like it's not that my father didn't believe i would ever reach a million like he believes in me he's my number one supporter he has been like nothing but love and support and put so much work and effort into helping me get to where I am today. But a million just seems like a lot of people, you know what I mean? So I just, I, I mean, I don't think I ever thought it would happen. So we call my dad Minion. It's just like always been his nickname. I get him like a lot of little Minion things. So I get him like a little Minion statue for his desk and I got him a, like a mug with Minions running around it and it says, Dad, you're one in a Minion. Yeah, it's just kind of like an inside joke with the fam and with like everybody else. Everybody just calls him Minion. So Minion, are you ready? He's just about ready. I'm home in uh, in Oakville where I'm born and raised, by the way. I live in LA now, in case you didn't know. I'm so excited for you guys to meet my minion. He's great, you guys are gonna love him. I'm surprising my father today. He does not know what we're doing. One, two, three. <sighs> Can you see minion? Hey, minion. Hi, YouTube fans of Molly's. <laughs> my dad's gonna start his own minion YouTube channel, right? I'm gonna compete with Kim Kardashian. I'm gonna break the internet. You're already breaking the internet, I'd say, minion. All right. Let's go. Are you ready? ready? Ready for your surprise? I am. He's gonna experience what it's like to be me. He's gonna be blindfolded in the car ride there. So he does not know where we're going. And I am so excited. What was the one thing you said we can't do? Uh, skydive. We're not skydiving. We're not skydiving. I'm not skydiving. No, we're not skydiving. Let's go. So Minion's in the back seat. Mama Bear is driving. She's gonna be our videographer for the day. And Gallup is in his spot in the trunk. He loves his trunk. Get some lots of space to spread out, and it's the safest space for him to be in the car. So, Minion, we'll do some Q and A on the on the way to our surprise destination. Your eyes are closed underneath your goggles, correct? Correct, they are. So, if I'm the Minion, doesn't that make you like Gru the evil overlord? It does, in fact, yes. But I would say I'm the loving overlord. Just so all the Minion fans at home know, you're not insulted that we all call you Minion. You no. understand it's a term of loving endearment, correct? I do indeed. He embraces the minion aesthetic. I sign my emails minion. He does. At the bottom of his emails, whenever we're doing like work-related stuff between like my manager and my mom and everybody, like he'll say like minion at the bottom. And that's how we identify when we're in work mode versus family mode. Is work mode, he's minion. Family mode, he's dad. And minion, do you have any guesses as to where we might be going? I've got a couple. Okay. So I said we didn't want to go skydiving, but it, there is that indoor kind of skydiving place nearby where you kind of float in the air like you're skydiving, but you don't have to jump out of a plane. So that's one idea. And How would you feel about doing that? That could be kind of fun, actually. And then the other thought I had, because you told me to put on some athletic clothes and shoes, I thought, so well, maybe we're going to like uh, your old horse riding school. Hmm, and that would be fun. on top of a horse because you know I'm not that comfortable <laughs> on top of a horse. Oh my god, he's honestly, you guys, and that's an idea. Yeah, that would have been funny. I'm like obsessed with horseback riding. I love it. Horseback riding and downhill skiing are like my two favorite things, both of which my dad is not great at. <laughs> We've gone horseback riding together in the Dominican when we were there on a family vacation like four years ago. My brother and my dad were horrible at horse. Was really good. Was he? It was just you that was miserable then, Minion. Well, because my horse wanted to throw me off. Okay, right. Miserable Minion. <laughs> hashtag Miserable Minion. We do a lot of hashtags with Minion. Hashtag Motivational Minion. Oh, and you guessed rock climbing yesterday. Oh, yes, that's true. I which, I, I used to be a rock climbing instructor. I'm a big fan of rock climbing. I know, blind girl being a rock climbing and belay instructor. But actually, rock climbing and belaying is very tactile. So you actually don't need sight to be a rock climbing instructor 
or to rock climb whatsoever. I mean, it might be useful in some situations, but for the most part, you're just feeling the rope and feeling the rock. I've already dropped the ball because my plan was to start to close my eyes in here and then sort of like when you're getting kidnapped and you memorize where the car is <laughs> turning left and right. But I've been distracting you. That's been my yeah, whole, uh, I was gonna ask you if, if you can feel, cause obviously like I'm blind. We all know that. You can confirm as my father, I am blind. Yes, you are indeed. Okay, as a blind human, I like, you know, this is my hometown, born and raised, driven around these streets in the family car for years. I know, like I can feel when we're close to home. I can feel where we are in the city for the most part because we've driven on these streets so many times. So for me, I like just know the motion in the car, but you always drive with sight. So you wouldn't be able to do that probably as well. The, other thing I, the only thing I feel right now is I feel like your mother's driving at reasonably fast. I mean, we're on the highway, so I would say it's reasonably fast. All right, we'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Isn't he the perfect minion? <laughs> I'm obsessed with this costume on you. I am now gonna guide you. Okay. You usually guide me. Yes. Minion's been very good minion with his eyes closed the whole time, so he has no idea where we are. That's where we're going, you guys. Yeah. A little. So, um, Minion, thanks for walking too fast, you guys. I was right. <laughs> yes, you are. Your first guess in the car was right. Awesome. Minion's getting a little embarrassed. I'm gonna to want to take the costume off because then people might recognize me. He's gonna be a celebrity. YouTube's really just about embarrassing yourself all the time, so. Yeah. Welcome to YouTube, Father. Hey. There. Now we have to sign all the safety waivers. Since the Minions are a relatively new franchise, they seem to be needing my ID to prove my age. So we're after the car to get my wallet to prove that the Minion is in fact old enough to fly in the sky. <laughs> saying that they've never had a flying minion here. First flying minion, so exciting. And she was also telling me, this is really cool. By the way, if anybody lives in the GTA, they actually have locations in like Whitby and Montreal as well. It's called iFly. I'll link their website down below in case anybody else wants to do this because I think it's gonna be so sick. But um, they were telling me that iFly is actually the closest feeling to real skydiving. So here, they actually train military and professional skydivers because this indoor skydiving facility specifically has the closest sensation to real skydiving. And I was really nervous that you're gonna get that G4 stuff, like feeling in your stomach when you go down a roller coaster because I hate that, but she said you don't feel like that at all. It's like really hard to explain, but she said it's kind of like you're floating on a cloud of air. So I'm so excited. Are you excited? about the surprise? Yes, I am. Apparently he won't be able to stay in his minion suit while actually flying, but that's okay. Aww. Safety first, safety first. Gallop's not getting to skydive either. Okay, I think it's gonna be our turn soon, you guys. How are you feeling, Minion? Um, well, I'm much happier about doing this indoors than actually jumping out of an airplane, uh, but we're gonna have to see. I'm excited, I'm excited. I'm really nervous though. I'm excited though. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna head into the classroom over here and then we'll get started. Ooh, we have class? It's like we going back class. to school. Cool school though, don't worry about it. Cool school. Come on, let's Hashtag cool school. <laughs> Gallup just got stuck underneath one of these chairs because he doesn't know his own size and tried to stand up and get out and then started running with the chair on his back. <laughs> signals for people but for me I can't see them so they're gonna do we practice like taps on my body which is good because like I said I can't see her here now so you ready we're gonna do some goggles go ahead and protect the eyes your makeup right. how fly do we <laughs> do you get the joke I love you pray for me <laughs> so I'm gonna grab on your wrist we'll stand up and walk and then I'll show you the door. So there's the door. There's the rubble we were talking yeah. about. Just take a stone. <laughs> and you're going to stand right where you're going. Yeah, I'm going to go. Step down. You're going to go like this. Ready to go? Yeah. It looks like I'm going to be in there too.
Oh my god, it's just like <laughs> crazy. I can't wait to go real skydiving now. You guys, what YouTuber do you think would have the balls to go blindfolded skydiving with me? Comment down below, let me know who I should challenge to go blindfolded skydiving with me. Who do you want to see that video with? Did you have fun? I did have fun. Yeah? I'm so glad we did that and not jumped out of an airplane. But now, don't, don't you feel better about jumping out of an airplane? It uh, didn't even feel scary. No, now I know I, why it was a good decision not to jump out of an airplane. <laughs> You're a natural, me a little less so. Well, he did say, our instructor said, I'd probably be better because I can't speak. And you are light like a feather and like a bird. I'm more like a rock. Have you ever done this with somebody who's blind? Yeah, a couple times. Yeah? It's not that many of us, so that's pretty impressive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so nice much for doing this. Awesome, guy. We'll have to get him in there next. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> a little, little helmet on him. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll take that too from you. So, you're going to take your video on me? Sorry. Well, you're so good. Yeah, nice meeting you both. So nice meeting you too. So we have Minion driving home. Those are his real glasses, by the way, guys. They kind of look like Minion goggles, though, don't they? So, mm -hmm. uh... That's what he usually looks like. Usually my dad has glasses on. Except usually I'm not driving in a Minion costume. Right. Usually my dad's driving in normal clothes with those glasses on. It must be weird for the internet to see you without your glasses. Because everybody in real life sees you with them. It's weird for me to see me without my glasses. Well, you don't want to watch this video then. Perfect. Okay, bye.